come through yesterday afternoon, well, probably yesterday late afternoon. We stayed at the Waruka place that I was saying, the um, I don't know, campground thing there. And yeah, a storm came through and pretty much just the winds were like 50 or 60 k's an hour. The one good thing was it rained a lot, so our van and car are almost sand free on the outside, which is nice, but now we're on the gravel roads again, so if they were wet, they're probably just gonna be dusty now. Um, but yeah, we didn't sleep real good because of the wind. Um, we had a little noise on the outside at two o'clock in the morning. I had to go out and fix it up because um, it was just bu bugger and bugging both of us. So today's plan, uh, we're heading out to Burners Beach and the reason we're heading out there is tomorrow looks like it's gonna be a really good, um, really good weather. And apparently this beach isn't too bad for swimming and, and snorkeling, not that we have snorkeling gear. Um, but a few other people that we met the other day, um, they were out there and they said it wasn't too busy. So we're gonna go out and have a look and, and we'll show you what it looks like. If it's not too windy tomorrow, I'll get the drone up and I'll chuck a bit of footage in of, um, of Burners Beach. I don't even know if you can hear me, sorry. Come to the left, go around the dunes, uh, and then you can get spaces like this. Like, look at this one here. This is a great spot. Uh, if we didn't if we didn't get the one that we got, and I mean, that one's got a better view than the spot we're in, but um, it's sort of open to the weather as well, I guess. We're, we're sort of tucked in behind one. But yeah, you just follow this track here, follow this track around, until you get to the sites um, down the end. There's a big horseshoe where you can turn around. So there's plenty of space if you want to go down for a bit of a recce and come back. I'll show you when we get there. So I'll throw you up top so you can have a bit of a look at where we're at. So this is Burners Beach. It's about 7.30 in the morning. There's only two or three other vans here. It's super quiet. The winds died off completely. It's actually that quiet. I can just hear someone boiling, boiling their kettle. Um, obviously like a camp, st a camp stove one. Um, but today the weather looks like it's supposed to be really good. Um, no wind or five kilometers an hour. We've been having fifties and sixties at some point, so that'll be brilliant. Um, gusts are like 15 k's an hour and, um, yeah, we're hoping the sun, they say the sun's going to be out for most of the day. 
it's not looking too promising at the moment, but I've noticed on the York, we get a fair bit of cloud in the morning and then about nine o'clock it sort of clears up. So hopefully that's the, that's the go again here. They reckon this beach is pretty clear uh, when the sun's out. <clears throat> Obviously we've got a lot of weed here at the moment because the, the um, wind's been pretty bad the last couple of weeks, uh, last couple of days. But just having had a bit of a walk down here with the coffee. Um, the van's super close. You can see it there in the back corner. So it'll be it'll be uh, be interesting to see what the day brings. So we've just been to the Yorktown Foodland, which is like the equivalent of food wax, as you can see. We're all stocked up, but Jesus, they get you. Hey, it's always a bit more expensive, but that one wasn't too bad. But oh, not good, not good. Um. Anyway, there was meat there that was labelled economy meat. Economy meat. Like, to me, that's like they're labelling it so that your dog <laughs> would eat that, not your wife. And my husband, of course, wants me to eat the economy meat. Doesn't he? Of course he does. I refused. We ended up with the scotch fillet, but far out. To label the meat economy meat means it's no good. <laughs> Tell them, babe, you wanted to buy the economy meat, didn't you? Well, when we fly, we don't fly business class or we premium we economy. We want to. <laughs> yeah, we want to, but we don't. So we want to buy premium meat, but we don't. We buy economy meat. Don't you think economy meat is for dogs? Uh, I don't think so. Mm, I do. Is this guy going to go? Yeah, he's going to go. Uh, I don't think it's for dogs. I think it's for people that buy black and gold mozzarella cheese. Which is us. <laughs> Except five eyes of woolies. What? Yeah, nah. She looked at me like I had four heads. So did the last lady at celebration. That's what I'm saying. You you put me in that situation. <sighs> Sorry, that's how we get all of those uh, points. Yeah. Speaking of points. Surely celebrations is flybys, right? Who? Tell us if we're wrong. Surely fl celebrations at least is flybys. Well. Liquor legends, yeah, I think that's more independent. I thought celebrations was flybys. Oh, uh, it doesn't matter. I'm going to Google it. Well, this is a great sign of things to come. We're on the way to Pink Lake. And this one's not even the Pink Lake, and it's quite pink. It's a great sign. <laughs> You. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get a picture with it before we throw it back. Filling up water again. We've moved out of burners and we're headed to. Whoop, oh, hang on. She's starting to fill up. I'll have to come back here. Okay, sorry. I was just saying, filling up water uh, at Waruka. So this is just uh, in the centre of town. It's a toilet block. Um, toilet block near the information centre. It's got um, yeah, it's got a great tap on the back. Uh, good pressure. We filled up previously at Waruka, um, like AFL fields, and it took no word of a lie, probably 20 minutes to fill the tank. So this pressure here is a lot better. 
if you are in the area, come to this one. So we left Burners Beach this morning. We've taken a bit of a risk uh, on changing locations, but we don't want to spend the next week just sitting there because it's school holidays. Um, so this morning we've come to Waruka, which you would have seen. I just showed you the, the taps where we filled up and um, we're going to head out the Daily Head. Oh, is that right? How was the park? Good. It's good. We're going to head out to Daily Head Campground um, because we have like a week left on our um, oh, bush camping pass that we bought. So we want to utilise the money that we paid for that. Uh, hoping that, hoping it's not too busy. It is um, school holiday start tomorrow so today's our last day of school so we're hoping that we'll um we'll nab a spot yep otherwise we probably wouldn't be going out there today but it's friday so we want to yeah. do it before um, school holidays but we should be okay, sweet water's full we've got the bladder full we've got jerry cans full of water dump points are empty i mean not dump points what are they called canisters toilets mm -hmm. so we're ready to go uh, but yeah so we'll show you when we get out there fingers crossed there's a spot and we're here Daily Heads Campground. Um, the site's absolutely huge. I didn't realise they'd be so big. You can honestly fit two or three vans in um, just in our site. The wind's, the wind's pretty bad today. Um, but after tomorrow, so not tomorrow, but the next day, Sunday, uh, looks like we're going to get some good weather Sunday through to, through to Friday. So uh, that's our plan at the moment. This is us behind us here, as you can see. The site's quite quite huge and the view here is behind us. Um, what else can I say? Um, it's not too busy at the moment, but I, I, I'm gathering it'll probably get busy from tomorrow or probably even this afternoon. Um, Drive-in was easy. A bit of corrugated road. Um, pretty dusty actually. Uh, we didn't turn the caravan on, but we probably should have. Um, I'll, show, I'll get a little video as I'm walking back into the van, show you the dust that's trying to get through the door vent. Um, we've got phone reception, which is always handy. People love a good bit of phone reception. Um, and I think someone spoke about the bees here, but we haven't seen any bees yet. Um, but just to say that they won't come. Uh, there are toilets, we need your own toilet paper. We use the van, so we're all good. When the weather does come out nice, we'll get some drone footage and, and throw it in here so you can, um, you can see how nice it is. Uh, just cooking up a bit of steak and veggies for dinner. That's how it seems to be our staple at the moment. It's nice and easy. Um, speaking of steak, I think Nikki mentioned in one of her videos about premium economy steak or economy steak. Didn't know that was a thing until we got to the York, but try to buy the economy steak and it got shut down pretty quick as you could imagine. Anyone else got a Ziggy? And what do you do when you're cooking in the windy conditions? Seems to blow, the flame seems to blow out a fair bit. Um, and what I normally do is try and try and stand up against this area so the flame doesn't get through oh uh, sorry the wind doesn't get through or then sometimes I leave the lid closed because it shuts that area off but then then you get um, then you don't get as much heat so I'd be interested to know if you can drop in the comments below what you do uh, that would probably help me out a fair bit